guys, it's Ruthie with the Popo Backyard Farm. I wanted to show you something that you should consider doing that will help you increase your brain power and spelling and uh, just a fun hobby to start. Clay and I like to do crosswords. Now this one's an easy one. I think I just picked it up at the dollar store. It's normally like $9.00. But you can go to a dollar store and get these nice big fat bucks for hardly anything. And uh, what I like to do is I just like to do maybe three or four a day. And, um, you know, you just keep collecting the books. And then when you get done, you just buy another one. But uh, what we'll do is sometimes we'll do them together. Sometimes I will do them by myself. Clay likes to do Sudoku, so he does those two. And sometimes I like Sudoku. He is really fast at Sudoku. I tend to like the crosswords more. But they also have word finds and things. But today we're going to talk about the crossword puzzles. So let me just kind of give you some encouragement to kind of give you some thoughts on doing crosswords. Which basically, um, find a one to start here. I guess I have one here is uh, 15 I'm on page 15. I don't know if you can see it. But what I'll do is I will start with a section. Like I'll do all this section. And I'll keep asking the questions that they'll, like the hints. And then when you can't do any more, you know, I'll do the up and the down. And when you can't do any more in this area, and I might start to ask Clay the answers. And then if I can't do any more, I'll just kind of finish the whole puzzle and do as much as I can, ask Clay anything at the end that I don't know. And then I will just look at the key and see what I don't know and then fill in the blanks. But each time you do crosswords, the longer you do them, the more you do them, the more answers you'll have. And you'll be faster at it, better at it. And it will help to build up your brain power, your thinking power, your spelling um, it's just a really good thing and you're going to learn things that maybe you never even cared about learning that, that can be useful later. But I highly recommend the hobby of crossword puzzles for anyone. Now, if you do crosswords or do puzzles of any sort, let me know. I'd be curious to know if you do this type of puzzle where you have to buy a book or have something. Um, let me know. And uh, let me know how you do your crosswords and, uh, you know, even what level you're at. Like my husband, he does the ones in the paper, like the Sudoku in the Sunday paper. He gets it done like, oh my goodness, in probably like half an hour where it would take me like all week to do it. <laughs> and, uh, but it's just a fun hobby to start. So, uh, anyway, I wanted to see if anyone else had the love of crosswords if you want to start the hobby, um, like I said, the books are fairly cheap. You can get them at the dollar store. They have all kinds of stuff online. But I like to have an actual book that I can take with me. Like if I have to go to the doctor, like today we have to go to the doctor. So I'm going to bring my crossword book. Or if I have to go on a long trip or anything, I have my little crosswords. And then I could just pull it out and, you know, it just makes the day go faster and it's fun. And plus, like I said, you're building up your brain power, your spelling, and it's just a great hobby. And, and like I said, and you learn things as well. So there you go. That's what I wanted to share with you. My love of, my love of crosswords. There you go. God bless. We'll see you in the next video. And remember, big or small, you too can be a backyard farm.